the reality with many so called facilities in old universities is precisely this go and look at the buildings you cannot do air conditioning that can be run at any reasonable power cost if you are going to do it you are going to have to essentially build a building in the building it's actually again cheaper for you to build so you build new institutions along the same lines the next set of problems which is state universities have because of all that we've discussed have been starved of funds and therefore reliability of funding for state government for state universities has been a problem for decades ever since i was in college what is the consequence the consequence is that faculty recruitment and all of you know this all of our parent state most of us come from state universities and all of our parent state universities we know have not recruited faculty on a regular basis beech mein 10 10 12 12 15 15 saal there is no faculty recruitment for a variety of reasons some political some financial some this some that lekin sikhana to padta hai कोर्स वर्क तो किसी ने लेना पड़ता है तो कौन लेता है सो एड हॉक लेक्चर सर ब्रॉट इन बाई ऑल यूनिवर्सिटीज अच्छा उन्हें क्या कहा जाता है ये कहा जाता है कि पांच सौ रुपए पर लेक्चर दे देंगे आपकी जिंदगी बसर हो जाएगी ना तो फिर क्या कहते हैं कहते ये हैं कि दो तीन साल ले लो जैसे ही पोजिशन ओपन हो जाती है तुम्हें रेगुलराइज कर देते हैं ठीक है तो जब पोजीशन ओपन हो जाती है एज फैकल्टी रिमेंबर यूनिवर्सिटी फैकल्टी हु सेज कि हमारा हक बनता है दीज पीपल अब उनकी क्या गलती है दे हैव बीन आई आई हैव हैव एवरी सिंपथी फॉर देम बट द कॉन्सिक्वेंस इज दैट यू हैव फैकल्टी मेंबर्स हु हैव स्पेंट इयर्स इफेक्टिवली रनिंग कॉन्ट्रेक्चुअल कोचिंग क्लासेस फॉर यू एज यूनिवर्सिटी टीचर्स They've never done any research. जो पीएचडी के वक्त किया था वो अब दस साल पुराना हो गया सो हाउ डू यू एक्सपेक्ट देम दिस इज नॉट एट ऑल टू डाउट देयर ऑनेस्टी और सिंसियरिटी ऑफ पर्पज एंड और प्रैक्टिस दिस इज सिंपली रिकग्निशन ऑफ रियलिटी उनके हाथों नहीं होगा नो इंप्रूवमेंट ऑफ रिसर्च एम्बियंस विल हैपन हु इज एट फॉल्ट आर दे एट फॉल्ट नो are the people who have promised them jobs at fault no because otherwise they would not have gotten anybody so who is at fault we are at fault as a society for having created these situations in the first place if we don't acknowledge this see this this problem of perpetually we want somebody to blame and we want to pretend very comfortingly ki ek luhar ki baith jaye to sare sari samasyaen hamari hal ho jati hain jayengi thodi hota hai बट in um, you know marathwada university you say wo to delhi university ki to baat alag hai bhaiya wo to hum hamari haisiyat waisi thodi hai ye bhi to aap kya sunenge agar wahan jate hain to as you said it's convenient to let these things go and pass under the carpet my problem is the way we phrase these things are a way for us not to do anything and we are also becoming an attitude it is gradually developing as an attitude for the it, generation it becomes a sense for us to say somebody else is to blame and if only this and this was done none of these problems would exist the end result is i have no citizenship responsibilities of 
engagement and struggle. और यह सरासर गलत है both on a practical level and on a on a in a in a matter of principles, any conversational direction which leads us to think that we are entitled to things from society, but we are not obliged and responsible to struggle with society is wrong. So they mean by they, they are more interested in blaming than We are. Mac, I will never use the word they. We are. All of us need to recognize and struggle with with this tendency that all of us have. Yeah, many of us, I come from that slice of society which has had unreasonable privilege, right? Bluntly. But for many of us, we suffer disempowerment and underprivileging in a variety of ways. We suffer it with gender, we suffer it with caste, we suffer it with class, we suffer it with language, we suffer it with class. We suffer it in a wide variety of ways. It's very tempting to respond to this not simply with anger but with a sense of what I'm calling a disengaged sense of entitlement. We are victims and therefore society owes us something. We don't owe society anything. I agree with the first half of that statement, but I disagree with the second half. And I disagree with the second half because we are society as much as anybody else. We may be underprivileged, we may be disempowered, but if we are not society, who the hell is society? But uh, do you think that uh, hierarchical segregation, whether it be political, even in scientific, I would say, many uh, to great extent, is a cause or had been uh, contributing to all these factors? Means we preach, we practice, we uh, train in one sense. Uh, well, we don't. Quite bluntly, we don't. Um, for 25 years, I have said in every first NII PhD coursework class, you need to stop referring to me as sir. You need to start calling me Satyajit because you need to begin to see that I am simply another colleague. So long as you don't do that, you are going to look at me as a figure of authority. And what that is going to do is bad at two levels. One, it is bad because you will still remain a student in the sense that I said earlier, who is looking to me for answers of how the world works. And that's not the point of this exercise any longer, if it ever was. Secondly, what you do when you do that is to perpetuate on the broader societal level a sense that there is something appropriate about hierarchies. And I have serious difficulties with that. So, it's all very well for me to say this. Do you know what students say? Ye hum se nahi hoga. Koshish bhi karein to nahi hoga. The amusement aside, I understand. Culture, you see, we carry culture deeply embedded in us. Culture is not something that we choose consciously. Culture is something that that, that shapes us without our realizing that it's shaped us. It's why I never trust myself when it comes to conversations about gender, simply because I belong to the exploiting gender. It doesn't matter what I think consciously. I am shaped by a patriarchal culture in which 
I have, I belong to the exploiting group. It is essential for me to be deeply suspicious of everything I say. And it's in exactly the same context that acknowledgement of hierarchy is both deeply problematic and deeply embedded. So, you see, this is why I'm saying none of this is easy or simple. It needs the everyday grinding struggle of staying engaged. But hey, whoever said life was easy or fair? Life is a terminal disease, right? <laughs> right. What, what's the definition of a terminal disease? Disease that ends in death. Doctor Rasmus, you insist that I will say Satyajit Bodo. Nice, Satyajit. But you go tell next professor by their name. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. getting C here, right here. <laughs> You're never getting out of this class. I, I, Terminally executed. Terminally executed. <laughs> I recognize all of this, which is why I'm saying this is not simple. It's also why I don't say in class, refer to everybody. 